So this is my review on the Cold Craft Cloud Umbrella Stroller. I'm just gonna show you. Today I'm going to be doing a box opening of a brand new stroller that I just picked up today called the Cloud Umbrella Stroller. So I'll go ahead and show you some pictures. So that's the way the stroller looks with the um, umbrella um, not all the way down, so just partially down. And as you can see, it does have a pretty nice cup holder, so that's a nice little added bonus. Um, and then you can see it's trying to show that um, there's like it's like mesh, so it's really cool, so he doesn't stay hot um, while he's in there. And then this is a picture that's being covered, but you could kind of see how low the umbrella comes down. This stroller, and I purchased it for like $24, something ridiculous. Walmart was having like a sale, but it's typically not that much. I think they were having them for like $15 off when I bought it, but I literally got this stroller for $20. For like $24 and that was with tax and then it's free shipping I thought hey if it you know if it's really bad $24 isn't gonna kill me so one of the things that I think is important to mention that the weight the maximum weight capacity is 40 pounds so that might stink for a lot of people like I I know my other stroller is 55 weight limit and I you always have to remind yourself that the weight limit is child plus whatever bags you're gonna be carrying so if you're like me, you pack your entire life in your little Mary Poppins bag and you throw it in the back of the of the stroller. But I mean, if your kid's weighing 30 pounds, you kind of have to think, you know, how much weight am I actually putting in here? So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. I'll tell you one thing. I'm loving that I just pulled it out of this box with one hand and it's not killing me it's I mean I feel like it weighs like what my son weighs so winning in that department for me right now I'm hoping that it's as easy to assemble as easy it was to pull out love how compact it is it's tiny look at this like I feel like you could just strap it on like a backpack and walk around the airport with this thing It does come packaged really well. So this is how it kind of comes without any of the wheels and then it just real easily, um, real quickly opens up. So some of the instructions um, on how to put it up together. So it kind of tells you what it comes with, just the wheels and the axles and the caps and the canopy. And it just goes over um, how to put this all together. Okay, so what I have done um, from this point um, is I have assembled um, one of the wheels. So you do have to assemble all of the wheels on your own. It's going to come with your axle and then it's gonna come with washers. It has a few washers and then it comes with these little like, I guess they're called cotter pins. So they're just like these little pins that you're going to use to fasten them. And I'll show you right now, fasten it to the wheel. So, so here are the two wheels that you're gonna use. And there's kind of like a little part that sticks out here and then this part doesn't have anything. So the part that sticks out, you're gonna put it in towards, um, you know, where, where the screw is gonna go. So all you have to do is grab the axle and then you're gonna put, you're just gonna put the washers in between. So um, put the washer through before putting it through the little, the hole. And then you'll grab the other washer and put it, put it down and then we'll do the same thing with the other wheel. And then here, because I mean, clearly this would just slip right out, 
this is where you're going to hold it with these little pins. So that's my question to people who have built strollers before. Is this, is this safe? I mean, I can't imagine them popping out, but anyway, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like a little hole on this metal. So you see that little hole? That's basically where you're gonna put, just put the pin in, and that's gonna hold the wheel from coming out. The pin. So once that's inside, you're just gonna put the cap over just you know to kind of hide all that stuff. So there it is. So there are both of the, the back wheels. Okay, so I just put the front, um, the right, actually the left front tire or wheel on. And this is actually very, very easy. This is just a clip in. So you'll see on these tires, you'll see a little, I'm not sure if you could see it here, but there's a little arrow right here that's telling you upward. So that you'll, fade, you'll, you'll put it in this way. If you put it in this way, it does not click. So that's a good indicator. So we're just gonna put it in and then you hear it click and that's it. It's in there and it's ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to attach the, the umbrella. This is the size of the umbrella. Not as big as I thought, actually. It still seems pretty small, but I guess I can't be super picky. Um, the green can come in and it can come in a lot more. And then it does have this like little back canopy, depending if you want air, it could just be lifted and there could be some air, but still some shade over your child. But then this can also come down, which I like. And then it has some Velcro on this side that can be Velcro to the back. And then these little straps, which have like a clip that's also, there's little clips as you can see in the back part that that clips on, and this is where the Velcro would be. So if you could see through here, you could pretty much see through. So I really like this aspect of it because where we're going, we're going, we're gonna be in Florida, it's hot and humid. And this is gonna be a real nice factor for my son, I know. So the instructions just say to put the canopy over the screw on each side. So I guess the reason why I got a little bit confused is on this side, there's this part that's like a screw and I'm assuming that this is where the cup holder goes. I'm assuming that the cup just goes right here and that this little black plastic thing is what's gonna hold it. So they're meaning these screws on the bottom. So clip the canopy on the ones on the bottom. And then it clips on to the actual seat as well. So um, another thing, if you want to make this part even smaller, and if you can see here, there's this little lever, so you could just pull it up, and that kind of like makes it small. Doing that, it kind of, well, it'll just stay all the way up, but it is connected now, so it's connected to the back right here. Okay guys, so I've been playing around with Canopy, the umbrella, I think, I might have gotten it down. I think I just put it in the wrong spot, but the instructions, I promise you, do not say that. They just say, they attach the can a canopy, um, align it to the clips to the stroller of the frame just above the screws on either side. It doesn't tell you which side, doesn't tell you which screws, um, and it doesn't tell you what it should be on top of. The way that the pictures kind of show you, just it looks like it's just like, as you can see the top, it looks like it's just the metal, anywhere on the metal. So there's this little area here where you have the fabric. So you see the fabric on here? And then there's like a little gap. There's like a gap right here between the two screws. So I just put it in there in between that area. It seems like it fits perfectly. I feel like there's a little bit better space like for your, for your child if the canopy if it's in here, I feel like you can actually breathe and it's gonna actually give some coverage and it's not going to be right on their face because I really felt like in the beginning it was just coming up so close. I, I felt claustrophobic just looking at it. So all you do here is like the little Velcro. There's this whole strip of Velcro down here. So you can just Velcro it in, which makes it super easy. And then this, um, they also has clips for extra security. You just clip right in. And then like I had done before, there's some extra 
um, Velcro on the sides that you can just Velcro in. It's pretty self-explanatory, at least, at least that part is. I guess the thing that I don't understand is why it could just, it just, it just keeps going down and down and down. We'll do a case in point here. It's Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna put him in there just to kind of give you an idea. Here it is down, and you, I mean it, it's covering everything, but it is really close. I mean, here's his nose, it's like a few inches. And this is Mickey Mouse, not a kid. This gap here is just, it's just kind of ridiculous. One thing that I do like about the stroller that I have to say is quite nice, this little backing. So it can be used as a cushion for the back, especially if it's cold, but it also folds up to be like a little pillow. So the, their head can just relax here on a pillow and it's very comfortable. There is a three point harness, as you can see, See here, I'll show you the three-point harness. Another downer with this one. It does not recline, and I think that that is a major bummer. There was another, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was a lightweight stroller, same um, weight as this one, and it did. It had kind of like that um, tie that you just pull down, and it kind of gave you a few different levels. This is just gonna be like the sit option. You don't really get anything else other than that. To pull this down, it's just Velcro to the back. So you just kind of fold it up within itself until you see the cold craft name. And then the little Velcro just goes in the back and Velcros, and then there you have a pillow and then you have the nice mesh. This is literally my favorite part of the stroller. I wanted something that was going to be very breathable. So this kind of comes down really nice. So you just unlock the three point harness and you just thread it right through the hole. So that way it stays in place, which is nice. So it's not gonna be moving around. And then that would just attach. And then these little levers are really easy too to pull if you need it to be pulled tighter to your child. You can't fit anything in this in this in the bottom part of this stroller. It is literally just a carry my child around type of stroller. I'm going to show you. It's almost like a joke. So this is the basket right here. So let me I can use my hand so so you can kind of get perspective. I mean, my goodness, literally like three inches of a space right here, and that's it. Let's see from the side so you could kind of kind of see. Look how tiny this is. I mean, I mean, I guess the back kind of opens in the, in this area, but it is super tiny. You can't really grab anything from the front either. If you're especially if your child is like sitting sitting on it, you can't really grab anything. So the main area to pull things out of is gonna be the back. Let's say you wanna throw maybe a spare change of clothes or something that I carry along with me is like a changing pad that's big enough to hold like wipes, a few diapers, and maybe a change of clothes in there. I mean, that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to put in here. That's about it. There's nothing else that it's gonna fit. I mean, it's literally, it feels like it's the size of a page, eight and a half by 11. Another issue is these bars that are in the way in the back, what, you know, what holds the structure of it. I mean, you can't, it's like, where, I don't know. It's like, where do you go to get your stuff? It, it's, it would be very, very complicated to put anything in here. This is going to be, I'm gonna put a thumbs down I have to for this basket. Definitely um, a down point for me because it is literally non-existent. Okay, so the last part of the stroller is just the cup holder. I just installed it. Um, that little nut that I had showed you before, um, I don't know if you can, well, I'll just pull it down. This little nut is on the left-hand side of the stroller. You just align them so that it goes into the little hole, and it clicks in really nicely. I don't, I don't foresee this coming out, and it, it is pretty sturdy. I mean, nothing is gonna come out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go over how to close this. It's real simple. Up here, you kind of see, um, it gives you like, I'll show you. Like little step-by-step, step, it says one right here with an arrow going this way and then two with the arrow going up. So in order for it to close, you just move it to the left and you have to pull up. This kind of like red clip holds the whole thing together. Another thing I don't like, I feel like this is really cheaply made, poorly made. I mean, this little tiny plastic is what's basically holding this entire shoulder together. So you're going to pull forward to release it, literally 
goes up on itself. And that's it. That, I have to say, my friends, is pretty glorious. It does have clips. There is a red safety clip on just one of the sides. So you just clip it over, and then there you go. I am, let's see, I'm 5'7", and standing up, I mean, this is right at my hip. Like, oh, my waist, I would say. So right at my waist. And then to open it, just unclip your the emergency strap, and then boom. It kind of opens up until itself. Just make sure it's like you push it far enough so that it's open. So what you're going to do is you push it away from yourself, and then you push down. You push down, so make sure that the whole bar is straight, and then the plastic goes right over not too far, it just goes over a little bit to secure it. I feel really torn um, with a review because I feel like the stroller has a lot of aspects that I really love about it, but it also has aspects that I wish they would have put a little bit more detail into it. Too. Top things that I really love about the stroller, it cost me $24 at Walmart, free shipping. It was fairly easy to assemble. The first negative is gonna be the umbrella and how cheap it's made. I, I feel like it's really flimsy and not made well at all. The second, and I don't know if you can see it better from the side or just the back, this basket is is sad. This, I mean, you can fit two hand width size. It is, it's literally tiny. I kind of like the foot um, rest. It doesn't seem like it's going to give like weather down, but this is actually like a real thick plastic. So let me see if you can see. Um, the plastic and I kind of like it love the color of the stroller the harness is pretty nice It does feel like good quality when it comes to the harness My absolute favorite feature of this stroller is this glorious mesh and how easy this is to roll up Pillow which is super nice and another thing it's not made out of a cloth that they're gonna get really sweaty and start sweating in that you're gonna want to take off this is that same material, but it's still really cushiony that has to be my number one love of this stroller this i feel like makes it worth it to me because i know that it's going to be cool when my son falls asleep um another aspect that i do um love and i, I mentioned it earlier is this cup holder this cup holder is gold it, it it is not going anywhere like i said it's sturdy um, and I think it's going to be a great place if we don't have a great place for your keys or for like a small toy for your child or snacks. Just so you can kind of see, I'm again, I'm 5'7", and the handle, the, the actual where the handles fall, they fall perfect for me, I feel. But I can see how maybe someone much taller might think like this is kind of like low and they would maybe like something higher. But this is actually, I feel like it's really perfect for me. Maneuverability seems pretty nice. It does spin really easy with one hand. In order to lock your shoulder, you, they do have a double lock system, so you would have to press down. And then to unlock, pretty easy. It's not a hard lock like some strollers are that you literally need to like do it with your hand, pull it up. You can do it with your flip-flop, just push it down and pull it back up and it's not gonna hurt. So, so overall, with this stroller, I'm gonna say, you know, I'd probably give it like maybe a three stars, just because it has a lot of features that I wish could have been improved and I think they could have. I think it's not a horrible purchase. It's not something horrible to have. It's great to have even as an extra stroller, a backup stroller, something to maybe keep at grandma and grandpa's house. So compact and folds up so tightly that it's not gonna be in anyone's way. It's not gonna bother anyone. In that sense, I, I think I would purchase it. I mean, I am going to go ahead and keep it and I'll give you more of an update later on what we thought about it while using it and see how my son likes it. So yeah. There it is. There is the Cloud Umbrella Stroller by Colecraft. If you have any questions at all or would like to see anything in specific, just comment below. Let me know and I'd love to hop back in and answer any, any of your further questions. This stroller is available, I know, on Amazon. The reason I purchased it at Walmart was because Walmart was having a specific sale that day um, and they were offering like $15 off, so the stroller ended up coming $24 clean for me. And I will keep you guys posted and let you know what we think so far, what my son thinks so far. So yeah, that was my review of the stroller. Hope it was informative and it answered any questions if you've been considering this particular stroller. Bye-bye.